Technologies on the cutting edge are changing the face of medicine, and they're healing injuries to a degree most people never would have thought possible. Prepare to be amazed. Our cover story is reported now by Wyatt Andrews. Good afternoon, Harvey Town, USA, Lee speaking. Three years ago, Lee Spivak sliced off the tip of his finger in the propeller of a hobby shop airplane. I was behind the wing and I, I went like this. And I was what happened next ground, propelled him like, into the future of medicine. You know, Spivak's brother, Alan, a research scientist, sent him this special powder and told him to sprinkle it on the wound. And I powdered it on until it was covered. To his astonishment, every bit of his fingertip grew back. Your finger grew back flesh, blood, vessels, and nail. Four weeks. In four weeks. All right. Is this essentially what regrew Mr. Spivak's finger? Yes, it is. We took this, turned it into a powdered form. Dr. Stephen Badalik of the University of Pittsburgh says that powder, a substance made from pig bladders called extracellular matrix, holds some of the secrets behind the emerging new science of regenerative medicine. It tells the body, start that process of tissue regrowth. Badalik, the lead researcher at Pittsburgh's McGowan Institute for Regenerative Medicine, is one of the many scientists who now believe every tissue in the body has cells which are capable of regeneration. All scientists have to do is find enough of those cells and direct them to grow. Somehow the matrix summons the cells and tells them what to do. It first gets them to the site where they need to be, but then it, then it helps instruct them in terms of where they need to go, how they need to differentiate. Should I become a blood vessel? Should I become a nerve, a muscle cell, whatever? If this helps Mr. Spivak's finger regrow, could you grow a whole limb? In theory. <laughs>